when I'm thinking of ecology, I'm thinking funky things, I, I'm, I'm thinking groovy, something rock and roll. We are here to learn how to build love shacks with Bryce Mathieu, who has a project here in Brittany. Bryce Mate. Oh yes, <laughs> French pronunciation. Bryce started experimenting with natural building about 20 years ago, when he decided to build an extension for his normal house. He started to build the first love shack as a way of dealing with a breakup. And I decided to make a little place that would remain me those beautiful nights I spent with her here. So, but to make it strong, as strong that this love will never end. What kind of vision do you have with the love shacks? To convince the Republic president to build one for himself. So after inauguration here, I decided to make a bigger one because I wanted more friends to get inside, mm. something more rock and roll once again, <laughs> maybe. So, love shacks, what are they? It's hard to pinpoint, but here's a shot. Little houses where ecology, spirituality and art merge to create spaces that support an integrated life in connection with nature. This is a proposition for a, a home, more simple, more natural and probably also more individual, like more and more couples I, I see uh, uh, prefer having their own space to develop their own garden and, and then meet, meet each other with more inspiration, more, uh, you see what I mean? Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> we joined Breeze to volunteer in building the fourth iteration of the Love Shack concept. So for this cup building we of course need cup and we're gonna make it now. It's a mixture of sand, clay, water and straw. And so the, the energy of, uh, of laughing, being together, sharing, uh, getting dug into the mud. Want a bite? So it's the sausage we just made. It's going to be wrapped around the whole building as the second layer. Well, I used to fight against the stream, by the way, for years and years, getting angry all the time and fighting against the system, getting mad. And uh, finally, I met a girl that told me, uh, stop doing this, go with the stream and flow with the flow. It's easier to get to, to change things with energy rather than angriness and uh, mm, uh, rage, the rage. Voilà. So in a way, adding positive vibes and playfulness to the system. Exactly. To invite the system. Totally. You understood me. The idea was to make um, the Love Shack 1 and the Love Shack 2 together mm -hmm. and with a tunnel in between and then a mezzanine over it. And, uh, the idea also to, was to make this place crossed by big, big waves like the planet is crossed by big, you know, the alpha wave or beta wave or whatever. You know those waves that cross mm -hmm. the universe from... So the idea was to get to get those waves going through. Yeah, so I'm helping to put the final layer of cop plaster on the wall 
In this part it's really important that we make a nice smooth finish. This is really important to Brees and he's been teaching us to really feel with our hands the shape. Almost like you're exploring a, a woman's body and then eventually it's going to be really nice and round like this part. This is called Love Shack 4. It's not very poetic but I don't care. It's a, because it's a prototype, prototype so it can have a scientific name like a sample of something. In a way this was supposed to be a sort of spiritual place, a sort of chapel for some divine yeah. essence of something. If you want to come. And so the idea is to, to make a chapel with, uh, with grass on the floor and uh, light there and uh, indeed when you when you sit around the, the acoustic is very good and we can sing and sing and suddenly some, some things are turning very fast. The idea was to, to make a, a twist. So when you get inside, it's like in James Bond, you get the in the aspiration and in the spiral. Oh, my head. Yep. At the end of our stay, the love shack was almost finished. Later, Bree sent these pictures to show Love Shack 4 in all its cute, cozy glory. <laughs>